I was probably about 12, 13 years old and I stumbled across a band called Blink-182 and it was like the first band band I'd listened to, you know, like a, a musicians that you could see, you know, there was like a drummer, bass player, guitarist and uh, I wanted to play drums. As soon as I saw Travis playing drums, I was like, I want to play drums and started learning and playing drums and then stopped playing drums and then started singing for the band. And uh, yeah, literally that band inspired me so much to like actually make music. I have it tattooed on my leg. I have the band name tattooed on my leg. It's pretty ridiculous. The last time I got Goosebumps was at Rock Am Ring for Coldplay. And uh, they started playing Fix You and it was, it was the worst weather I've ever been in. It was like torrential rain and then it got to the end of Fix You and like it started like thunder and lightning everywhere. And it was just like the most insane thing I've ever seen. Like I, I was like completely mind blown by it. And uh, yeah, I pro fully was like on the edge of like crying. It was such like a, a, a weird moment, but it was, it was incredible. Uh, it stops me from sleeping for about five weeks or however long we're in the studio and I'm a miserable person to be around. It's horrible. I, I, I love being in the studio at the same time I absolutely hate being in the studio because it's such hard work like to make sure everything's like perfection and you don't want to leave the studio and fly home and then have stuff not finished so yeah it's a nightmare. It's a, it's a living nightmare. I like going on it because it's a really good way of like seeing how your band's doing as well, like checking out like how many plays we have as a band and what songs have the most plays. It kind of helps pick our set list really because it's like, oh that song's been played so many times, definitely put that in and then you know it's, it's an important way of doing things.